My name is Kevin Hinchy. I'm the writer and director of this documentary, and this is one of the many locations where I'll be shooting this film. This was Wilhelm Reich's laboratory and study in Rangeley, Maine. It's now the Wilhelm Reich Museum. For those of you not familiar with Reich, he was a renowned psychiatrist and psychoanalyst in Austria and Germany. One of the youngest and most promising students of Sigmund Freud. An outspoken anti-fascist, Reich had to flee from Germany when Hitler came to power. His writings banned by the Nazis and the communists. And as a research physician and scientist, he used high magnification microscopes and time-lapse filming to study energy functions in living matter during which he discovered new microorganisms that revealed crucial links to the origin of cancer cells. He also discovered a biological radiation surrounding some of these microorganisms, a radiation that he later discovered also existed in the atmosphere. Wright called this radiation orgone energy, and for nearly two decades, he investigated its properties and practical uses. This included using modified Faraday cages called orgone energy accumulators for the experimental treatment of patients with terminal cancer and other diseases. And developing instrumentation for weather research and experimentation. Reich's persistent efforts to bring his work to the attention of scientists and physicians were met with dismissal and slander. And in 1947, this magazine article accused Reich of promoting these modified Faraday cages, these orgone accumulators, as a cancer cure and for increasing sexual potency, claims that Reich himself never made. Nevertheless, this article launched a seven-year effort by the Food and Drug Administration with the cooperation of the American Medical, Psychiatric, and Psychoanalytic Associations to discredit and stop Reich's work culminating in a federal injunction ordering Reich's publications to be banned from interstate commerce and destroyed. Reich was imprisoned for violating this injunction, where he died in 1957. And since then, the falsehoods and outright slanders about Reich's life and work have been repeated and amplified in countless articles, books, films, and websites, including Wikipedia, creating today's distorted narratives. Starting in 1961, all 10 books which were banned and burned were brought back into print by New York publisher Roger Strauss, plus 13 additional titles. And all of Reich's research journals which were banned and burned had been reprinted by the Wilhelm Reich Museum. And for the past four years, I've studied all of these books journals, and other primary materials to write the entire storyline for this documentary film, a factually accurate narrative that connects the dots from over 7,000 pages of Reich's publications and from thousands of additional pages of Reich's archives. Here's another place where I'll be filming this documentary, the Countway Library of Medicine at Harvard Medical School. Among its collections are Wilhelm Reich's archives over 250 boxes containing 98 cubic feet of material, the first film to have complete access to all material in Reich's archives. This is also the first film that will disclose information from all U.S. government files on Wilhelm Reich. Three months after his emigration to America in 1939, a confidential source whose name remains blacked out to this day made false charges against Reich to the State Department. And for the next 17 years, he was investigated almost continually by four separate government agencies. And these government investigations are an essential part of the film story that I've written. So my research and my storyline are complete, but I have not begun the actual filming of this documentary, which is why your donation is so important. It's your financial support that's going to transform these pages into an exciting, intellectually honest, full-length film about Wilhelm Reich. And it takes a lot of time, people, and money to make such an ambitious film. And once the film budget is in place, I can immediately hire the people I need in America and Europe who have already committed to this project. 
So for those of you already familiar with Wilhelm Reich, this film is your opportunity to support an honest narrative of Reich. And for those of you hearing about Wilhelm Reich for the first time, maybe there's something in this story that resonates for you. Maybe it's the fact that the published books and journals of a research physician and scientist were banned and burned in America, the country where he sought refuge from the persecutions in Europe. Or maybe it's the fact that a concerted effort was made by government, medical, and scientific institutions working together to discredit and to put an end to new research and new knowledge. Whatever it is about Wilhelm Reich's story that interests you, inspires you, or outrages you, please support this project. This film cannot be made without your help. Be a part of this fundraising campaign, and please spread the word. Thank you.